goal. The ball has come down and has been cleared up by Teddy McCormick as one of the goalie men, Emmett Farrell, it was. He's all right. And here come off the end of the attack now. And it is John Cooney trying to get up the field. His face knocked unceremoniously there. And there is a free quickly taken for the Offley men. And it is taken by Willie Bryan. Just from Jack Cosgrove. Down the center. And very quickly and nicely grabbed there by Eugene Mulligan, keeping the ball in play, or is he? No, he's about to start over the sideline, and it's a line ball for Galway. Line ball for Galway, and it will be taken just outside the 50-yard line by Cody McDonough. Get up, boys, get up, it comes down in the center to Kieran Saffy, and here's Kieran going up the field. Willie Joyce is after him. It's still Kieran Saffy. He's on the 21, the 14. He takes his shot and saved by P.J. Smith. They're in the top of him, but he's got it, and out he comes. Oh! Oh, the defense gets wide open. It's just for P.J. Smith, and here's Eugene Mulligan coming in now with the shot that's high, turning to the left. Into the goal now, then Smith comes out. Ball goes, whistle's gone, whistle's gone, whistle's gone. Whistle's gone. Green, Devin Kilmarty finished that on the net, but referee Paul Kelly had blown his whistle before that ball was kicked. And there is a free in, four off the 14-yard line, and Tony McCage is to take it. And there's the first score of the game, a point. Tony McCabe, the scorer, after five minutes of play, Tony, who has now scored one goal and 30 points in the championship, and the score is awfully one point, Galway, no score. P.J. Smith facing the ball for the kick out. Jack Cousins kick. Michael Rooney can't get up as high as Eugene Mulligan. Eugene Mulligan's intended pass got by Liam O'Neill for Galway. Now towards Pat Burke. I met Farrell is fouled out there by Mick O'Rourke. And there is a free for Galway, 60 yards out from the off the goal. And will be taken by Willie Joyce. Oh, a shortish one. There was an intended pass to Jimmy Jeffin that went and get to Willie Bryan. Willie Bryan trying to keep the ball in play on the far side. Doesn't succeed. Line ball to Galway. Offley one point, Galway no score. Galway came with a strong wind in this first half. And the line ball, they're switching. As I told you, there were switches in the early stages before the game started. Tony McCade went top of the right, and Lee O'Neill followed him there. The Galway man, Lee O'Neill followed him there. Just as uh, Noel Cullen followed his man out. It's Willie Joyce with the ball now to Frank Canavan. Canavan trying to get inside, takes his shot, and there's the equalizer. Canavan getting the pat on the back from Jimmy Duggan for that well taken point and the score after just over six minutes of play is Galway one point, Offley one point, or should I say just over seven minutes of play. Ball face for the kick out. And it is taken by Paddy McCormick. Get up, Daffy. hold it. Ah, yeah. Jimmy Duggan with it now for Galway. Gone back as Smith is Paddy McCormick and Paddy getting the ball and the referee blowing his whistle and awarding a free against Offley for an unnecessary foul there off the ball. One of the uh, one of the uh, Galway men down injured. It is Seamus Layton who's gone down injured. And the referee right up with the play, not standing for any of this pathology of Tapping ankles under the free in for Galway, being taken for them by Liam Savin, stays in there, the ball's pretty near the goal mouth, and the referee has gone right in there, and one of the Galway men is absolutely stretched out there in the goal, Martin Furlong uh, was involved in that, and uh, he was fouled first, and Jimmy Duggan was the recipient of a knock there that, uh, well, was quite a swinger. Maybe it's as well that Martin had the flu. Anyway, there's a free out for off they taken by Paddy McCormick, and it comes to Nicholas Staffan. Nicholas Staffan up field with the ball now. No pattern, doesn't quite hold on to it. He's willing to throw himself in there. 
Ball goes to Jody Gunning of off feet. Jody is fouled with a quick free taken by Kevin Kilmurray. Up to Sean Cooney. Sean Cooney on the 21 yard line. Into the centre court, Kevin Kilmurray. Sean Cooney. And the referee has blown his whistle and has awarded a free in to off feet. And this free is on the 14 yard line. And one of the off feet men has gone down injured now. This is a hard hitting final up to now. John Cooney being attended to as Tony McKay gets ready to take another free. 14 yard line. Left footed across the goal and the down wide. And the score remains Goldway one point, Elfley one point. And they are still attending to John Cooney up on the right corner here. Seems to be pretty shaken. No drawback. Kick out by Jack Cosgrave for the Galway then. Referee awards a free two off play for Willie Joyce putting his hand on the back there of Kieran Chaffee. And this free will be taken by Willie Bryan from about 65 yards out from the Galway goal. Remember off he's staying against the wind as the ball very nicely grabbed there by Tony McCage. And Tony sends a high one. It's dropping just outside the parallelogram. Kevin Kilmurray trying to get in. No Cullen gets his boot to it. Out it comes to Willie Joyce of Galway. Ball breaks to Eugene Mulligan. Eugene Mulligan trying to work his way up. His way is blocked and there's a free to off me. About 65 yards out from the Galway goal. And this one will be taken by Nick Cavill. Lovely ball. Tap down to short and it's oh it's not John Cooney missed it across the goal. It looks like it must go into the goal. It didn't. The ball was grabbed by Brendan Collard and goes up here but Eugene Mulligan up now to Sean Cooney. John Cooney 25 yards out now on the 14. He's fouled and there's a free and ball off me on the 14 yard line. Tony McKay to take it to score at this moment one point each. There's Tony McKay getting ready now for the kick. Concentration. Here it is. It's over the bar, a point, and off lead by that point scored by Tony McKay, making the score now after just about 15 minutes of play, off the two-point goal at 31 points. And Emmett Farrell, who's moved out to left half forward, with the ball now for Galway. Jimmy Duggan gone in. He's got the ball on the 14, trying to get room to swing his leg. He swings it all right, and Martin Furlong just sets it out under pressure, but the pressure was caused by the incoming Frank Canavan, and it went off Frank's hand and out over the line. Where will I go, says Tony, and he discovers very quickly and gets the ball left footed way up the field. And Jack Cowboy is spending it. They come to the Sean Evans. Sean on the 14. He's going through. He's trying to get room to take a shot. He passes the ball back as they shot it on the ground. It's saved. It comes back to Sean Evans. Sean trying to get it out. He decides he'll try and get it in instead, and he sends it over the bar. Sean Evans, the scorer, and what an escape that was for the goal way back. So a line ball, but there is a free to be taken by Lean Salmon. 35, oh, 40 yards out from the off we go. Martin Furlong brings it down in the goal mouth, and it's a goal! It's a goal, a goal for Galway, and uh, Seamus Layton, the scorer, Seamus Layton, the scorer, Martin Furlong couldn't hold on to it, and it right beside them, awards the free to off race, and it is to be taken by Tony McKay. I don't believe it. He has sent it wide. 25 yards out, dead straight in front of the goal, and the mighty one has sent it wide. Paulie McDonough robbed this time by Jody Gunning, and Jody going the way up the field now for Offley. He's 40 yards out. Just inside his man, just to Sean Cooney, it's just a great save by P.J. Smith, and out he goes. A great save there, a hard, rasping shot, and the ball way down the field. Pat Burke on top of the right, Michael Rooney, right half forward for Galway as Jimmy Duggan is going through with the ball, is tripped by 
Nick Gavin, Nick says I didn't do it, the referee says I, or he did, and that's what counts. Seamus Sladen now dead straight in front of the goal, or almost dead straight in front of the goal, and here's his kick. And it's over the bar, a point for Galway, scored by Seamus Layton. Seamus who got the goal, the scorer of that point, making the score now. Galway, one goal and two points, Offley, three points. Seamus Layton, number 15, can't get it away. Paddy McCormick out now towards Michael Rooney. Michael worrying his way in, gets the ball in towards Seamus Layton. Seamus Layton, like a hare after the ball, gets to it. Tries to get it through the centre, but out comes the clearance, and it's cleared out by Michael Ryan. Comes out to Mert Connor, who's come down the field for Offley. Mert Connor, of course, now an intended one towards, uh, come into the half-forward line. Tries to beat Emmett. A barrel for it doesn't. Emmett will on the ground now. Seamus Layton trying to get inside Eugene or uh, Dick Ryan. And a lovely dangerous hunting ball across his fist and it might to be jumping and saved by Martin Burda and the second time. And this time he is fouled by Petty Burke and is upended there in a the tackle by Petty Burke who went in on him and Martin Furlong saving twice extremely well. And again, Martin Furlong is in the wars and down injured in the off goal. But in attending to him, Ozzy Bennett there on the right that we associate more with the uh, Tipperary herding team. From the three out, the ball in the center of the feet. Willie Bryan for Offley. Out to Kevin Kilmurray. John Cooney on top of the right now as Kevin Kilmurray comes up field. Willie Joyce after him. Still Kevin Kilmurray. A high shot that down over the bar, a point by Kevin Kilmurray, who worked his way right up from about 50 yards out from his own goal to within 30 yards of the Galway goal to make the score now. Galway 1-5, Offley 4 points. Jimmy Chapman now, here's Jimmy coming up the field, intercept towards Frank Canavan, goes to Michael Rooney. Michael Rooney along the ground, but there's Mick Ryan, he can't quite hold on to it. Pat Burke trying to get a hold of it. Nick O'Rourke going out now for Offley, number four. But he his own end line in possession and a long relieving clearance. Brought down by Willie Joyce to Lean Salmon. And Frank Canavan has the ball in front of the goal, a shot, and he has sent it over the bar. Sent it over the bar, he's gone down, doubled up there with a knock, but he took that one very quickly, sent it over the bar for the point, his third point of the game, and that makes the score. Galway won seven, off the five points. So there's a 50 for Galway. Frank Carr, Liam Salmon to take Liam Salmon. Liam Salmon to take uh, the 50. John Smith is in the game for Offley. And Kieran Saffy has gone off, but Liam Salmon takes the shot into the goal mouth. Held by Willie Joyce. Surrounded by Offley men, still Willie Joyce, and he's held it too long, he's held it too long. The referee awards the free to Offley, penalizing the Galway man for holding on to it too long. John Smith on at right full back for Offley, Nick Ryan. Not sure where Mitt Ryan has gone, we'll follow the play. Martin Heavey with the ball now. Up now towards... He's beaten by T.J. Kilmore. T.J. up the field. Mick O'Rourke going for the ball, it goes off his hand and it's gone wide. Back to Mulligan. Willie Bryan, snapping it up. And held by Noel Cullen. Jordy Sheeran, Jordy Cunning coming out for it, Lean Salmon, and that ball is very, very greasy. Mert Connor now for Offley. Mert from 40 yards out high and over the bar. A point for Offley by Mert Connor. 
narrowing the gap now to just four points between them. Edward Connor, a cousin of Willie Bryan, who plays with the center of the field, taking that one as it came his way. Goal by one goal and seven points. Off the six points. Eugene Mulligan with the ball now. Eugene Mulligan out now to Nick Cavan. Nick Cavan getting inside. Freddie McDonough and Nick Cavan going on up the field. Two Galway men after him. He's still going on. He's pushed in the back by Colin as he's going through to take his shot. And there is a free as Michael Rooney goes off the Galway team and is replaced by Tom Divley. Michael Rooney off, Tom Divley on at right half forward and Tony McTague to take this free for Here's Tony McTague now in the 10th minute. Sending this one and sending it over the bar for Offley. Another point for Offley. They're picking off the points now. And at this stage, they trail by just three points. And the score, Galway, one goal and seven points. Offley, seven points. And now the game beginning to liven up a bit as Nicholas Cavan gets the ball out of the wing to Sean Cooney. John Cooney into Nicholas Cavan. Nicholas picked up now by Billy Joyce. And Willie Joyce blocking that one very well. And there is a free two goal or two goal way from just outside their own 70 yard line. Nick Cavan seems to have got a knock there. And the three has been taken by TJ Kilmore. TJ way up the field. Ball feed by Willie Bryan. Into the center to Kevin Kilmurray. The three lets the play go on, gives off the advantage out to uh, Willie Bryan. 14 yard line, up near the sideline, far side of the field. And there's a dangerous turning ball in, so it's because the referee has blown his whistle and penalizes the uh, Galway back for a foul there, and there's a free in for Offley. Almost dead straight in front of the goal, Tony McCain to take it. Send it over the bar, and that narrows it now to just two points. Tony McCain, the scorer. Tony, who was in the doldrums as far as scoring in the first half, has come right back into the scoring this second half, and the score, Galway, 1-7, Offley, 8 points. Feeling there by John Smith. John Smith of Gracefield. Now the Aussie champions have a man on the team, and now it's Tony McCabe with the ball. And as somebody says, kick it, and he tips it into Jody Gunning. Jody Gunning now gets the ball in towards Sean Cooney. Cooney is shot the top of the bar, and it's a point for Aussie. Shown by Sean Cooney, and now there's only one point between them points in a row for Offley, and that shows how they're attacking in this second half. The score, Galway, one goal and seven points, that's ten points, Offley nine points, and 13 minutes gone in the second half. Getting it up to Willie Bryan, Willie Bryan out now to Mert Connor, Mert Connor with the ball and inside him is Kevin Kilmarney, but Mert decides to take a shot himself, and there's the equalizer, Mert Connor from way out the field, and there it is, the man who got it, Mert Connor, top of the left, sending that one over his second point of the day and the equaliser. Galway, 1-7, off a 10 points, 14 minutes gone, second half. Kevin Kilmurray there and there's a free in to be taken by Tony McKay, just inside the 50-yard line. Can this be the equaliser again? Oh no! Out towards the right, it's gone off somebody's hand, it could be more than the equaliser. Jody Gunning trying to get in. The back's trying to keep him out. Jody Gunning across the goal mouth, and T.J. Smith saves it again under pressure. 20 yards out, Tony McTate to take it. Tony swings it high across the goal mouth. Noel Connor lets it go off his hand. Tony McDonough grabbing it. Trying to get it out of it. The speed. Willie Joyce under it. Spoiling tactics all round the place now. Nick Cavan with the ball is high. Nick Cavan, the scorer. 20 minutes gone in this second half, and the score, 11 points each, or if you prefer it, Galway, one goal of eight points, awfully 11 points. He way up the field, 
Noel Cotton doesn't quite hold on to it. John Evans gets it across the goal. Mark Mark Cotton's got the ball. It's got a goal! A goal! Mark Cotton, the scorer. Mark Cotton, the scorer of that one. And every Austin man in Stroke Park has gone mad as Austin go into the lead now with the score. One goal and 11 points to one goal and eight after about 21 minutes of play. Out in the center of the field, and it's Galway back into the attack. Up the field, but it's Nick O'Rourke with the ball now for Offley. His kick blocked down by a wholehearted Frank Canavan, but the ball goes off Frank out over the line for a line ball for Offley. Nick O'Rourke to take the kick. And the referee blows his whistle, and the walls are free to Offley. Pat Burke has gone off the Offley, uh, gone off the Galway team, and Michael Fearick has come on of the south. Free by Paddy McCormick for Offley. Gets it up the feet to Kevin Kilmurray. Kevin Kilmurray with the ball now, but. And the referee blows his whistle and awards a free to Galway for the foul on Liam O'Neill. Kevin Kilmurray placing the ball for a free taken by uh, Jack Cosgrove and uh, the free taken but the Offaly man standing too near it so there's another free for Galway taken by Jack Cosgrove. Comes up along the wing now to Michael Fearick. Michael Fearick to Jimmy Duggan. Jimmy Duggan. Trying to get it, gets it up into his hand. Across into the center to Frank Caravan. Frank on the 14-yard line. His jump is bounding off somebody. And it goes back and John Smith gets it. John Smith for Offley. Out to the far side of the field. Sean Cooney. Cody McDonough for, for Galway. Into Tom Gively. Tom Gively left with a screw shot across in towards the goal mouth. And the ball is in the net. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal, and it was scored on the top of the left by Seamus Layden. Seamus Layden went across. He was the one who jumped in on top of it, and the sides are level again. He was in there on top of it, kicking it in. Just who finished it? Well, I don't know, but the honors of the score to Seamus Layden. The score, 2-8 for Galway, 1-11 for the Alfred and 14 points each, and it's Liam Salmon up to this side of the field. Willie Klein trying to show him mind that camera. Uh, Willie Klein uh, trying to save the going over the sideline. Couldn't and it is a line ball for Galway. We go back to 1952 for the last draw in an All-Ireland final. 14 points each at this stage. And it is Seamus Layden with the ball. Seamus is having the game of his life into the goal mouth. And it hops out over the end line and it goes wide the second half. 15 minutes left, the sides are level. It's pouring, pouring, pouring. The ball comes down right into the hands of Sean Evans. Sean Evans with it now, 35 yards out, high, and it's over the bar. Over the bar for the lead for Offley by one point, Sean Evans the scorer. And that makes the score now by Tony McTay. Well, they fought for stand seats, and now they're empty. Here's the kick. It's gone in, and it's gone over the bar. Another point for Offley, and it's Tony McCain who puts Offley two points ahead now after 27 minutes of play. Offley one goal and 13 points. Galway two goals and eight. That's his sixth point of the game. And Seamus Layden has scored two goals and three points, so he's the chief scorer. But right now, he's on the team, Galway, that trails by two points. Line ball for Galway. Far side for Galway, exactly the halfway line. Willie Joyce, upfield to Frank Canavan. Frank Canavan racing up now on the 21 and the 14. And he is unceremoniously fouled there. And there is a free, the referee going in to have a word with Teddy McCormack for a most deliberate foul there. 
softly attacking again with Tony McTague with the ball. Tony McTague coming across into the centre. No colour and after but Tony is still going on. A shot is in towards the goal mouth and PJ Smith in the goal. Out to the far side of the field. Dragged out there by Sean Cooney. Tony McTague up in the right corner. And there's a free out. Free out to Seam O'Neill was under pressure there. Three minutes left in the game. Three minutes between Offley and their first ever All Ireland title. Tony McTague now high across the goal mouth. And it's PJ Smith. Nobody can say that he let Galway down today. Out comes the ball. And in it comes again now. It's Kevin Kilmurray steadies himself. And there's the important point. That makes it three points between them now. And that ball sent over by Kevin Kilmurray. That could be the clincher. The score with just, what, less two minutes left in the game. Awfully one goal and 14 points. Galway two goals and eight. That is 17 points to 14. Out comes the ball, and back in it comes again. Sean Evans with it now. And Galway under real pressure now as the off the men settle down. Pat Benning in towards the goal, but it's Jack Cosgrove coming up feed with the ball. Out towards the far wing, and Teddy McCormick under pressure there, but the ball breaks down to John Smith. John Smith up now at the far side of the field, and the ball gone into goalkeeper Paddy Smith. Paddy left footed, and who gets it was Paddy Fenning. Paddy Fenning for the off the team into the goal mouth, out towards the left, and it's gone wide. The scoreboard with time running out now. It is one goal and 14 points to two goals and eight in favor of Offley. T.J. Kilmore for Galway, being tackled by Sean Evans, free up for the Galway men. Their dying effort now to try to pull the game out of, well, who could pull it out of a fire on a rainy day like this? It's Jimmy Duggan with the ball now. Jimmy Duggan right up through the centre. It's gone right back. Paddy McCormick has gone back to get it. Paddy is being tackled up there by Emmett Farrell. And the referee awards a free out to Offley for holding on to Paddy. And with the referee looking at his watch now, Paddy McCormack, number three, standing back to Burnley Paddy, the man from Rhodes, coming to take the kick. And here's the kick into the centre of the field. It takes down to Billy Joyce. And Joyce going up field with it now. He sees foul as he goes through. And now the whole of Galway has gone up around that Offley goal. Liam Salmon leaving the ball for Seamus Layden to take the kick. Backs and forwards in around the goal. A shortish kick. Kick back into play. And there goes the referee. has gone for the goal. And there goes the final whistle. And off they have won the All-Ireland for the first time in history. Offley have won the All-Ireland, they've won it by three points, and they've won it on merit. And the crowds are just pouring in to congratulate, and pouring is the word today, they're pouring in to congratulate the Offley players. What a moment this is indeed for Offley, first time ever to win an All-Ireland the conditions absolutely awful at the moment pouring rain and all the rest but the awfully people couldn't care less and Galway to a man shaking hands with their comforters now leaving the field after putting up a gallant effort indeed well it's been a long time coming which makes it all the sweeter for Offley as they take over the Sam McGuire Cup they won it today with the score this Ulderbund Rode, Skreven Bua Eg Ufaya, the Faithful County, a Chukterer, August Van Jout, Bider Dilish, and all, Van Tradition on the Via Nomansis and Pelo Emertica, the Reven Bua Kogoro Vinik, Aganish Pasheka, Don Kedur. The 
Van Cadu, Van Cadu Sandboyer, of Rao Walia, La Willie Bryan. Van, for all of them, what needs more, what needs more? Brunnemanish on Korn, or Willie Bryan, or the Korgardikas. The moment they've been waiting for, Willie Bryan with the Sam McGuire Cup, and now the whole Oscar team with Norma the Sam McGuire Cup. Norma the one. Norma the one. So Willie, will you just give one minute? <laughs> Willie, one minute please for the captain of the Offaly team, Willie Bryan. An old aspect and Tushuk, a card again, quick as more than they do. What can I say? I mean, this is the happiest day of my life. And I'll show for you, support us, it's put fair award for the years of trying. But what about one, and I mean one big cheer for the great old warrior Penny McCormick. There he is. At last, he has achieved his elusive goal. And I'd like to thank everybody concerned, <laughs> the Aussie team, and most especially, Fadi Galuli. <laughs> John Dowley. John Dowley. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. <laughs> Sean Braden. <laughs> and Tyler McWee. And uh, of course, Ozzy Bennett. Yeah. And Tom Darcy. Anyway, how about three cheers for the Glen and Galway team? Hip hip. Yeah. Hip hip. Yeah. Hip hip. to get hushed around here is to be the captain of the Offaly team. Dead silence, or almost dead silence, as Willie Bryan was addressing the crowd. And now, that journey down. The journey down for the Offaly men, and, well, they're entitled to every moment of that excitement. And the crowd out in the centre of the field, paying homage to the 15 men who brought success, this long-awaited success, to Offley today. <laughs> Offley, one goal and 14 points, Galway, two goals and eight. And now, Willie Bryan beginning to go down, led by Martin Furlong. Martin Furlong, the goalkeeper, just making his way out now. And now Willie Bryan, and heaven help Willie Bryan when he hits that crowd down there. Here he comes with the Sam McGuire, Sean Evans, Sean Cooney, then Paddy Fenning, Mud Connor, Kieran Chaffee, the whole team as they go down, John Downing in the centre there. And Willie Bryan, I would say, he almost has ribs broken down there. That's the team just going down out of the stand, but out in the center. Out in the center, slightly to the right of where we're looking now. Father Galhuli just going down there, the trainer of the team, but out in the center. Somewhere in there, you may see, you see the Sam McGuire Cup on the left there? Well, somewhere in under that is Willie Bryan. Well, <laughs> awfully people have waited for years to get their hands on it, and they've got their hands on it today. And if anybody would ever have any doubt of what winning an All-Ireland can mean to a county, I think the last five minutes must surely have proved it to them. And there goes Willie Bryan up again. And 
Bryan also gone up high. Well, the whole team going up now, but just beside Willie Bryan was the man that he called the first cheer for, Paddy McCormick. Number three, there in the back. Number two, Mick Ryan. Number six, Nick Savin, there on the left. Number seven, Martin Heavey. <laughs> and on the broad of his back, high up, <laughs> is Willie Bryan. 